everybody, welcome. This is just a nice evening flow that is going to help you let go of any tension, any stress from your day, so you're able to sleep a little bit better, and just a great way to relax the mind and get us just out of all the worldly concerns and allowing us to move more inward. So we'll start in child's pose. And when I actually do this practice normally, I do it right by my bed. I don't even use a mat. I usually have nice, big, warm, comfy clothes on, and I always have a candle lit as well. So make it like a nice space for you and just kind of set that up for yourself before you start. Okay, so I am off my child's pose. So you can bring the big toes together and knees out as wide as you'd like. Begin to walk the hands up, let the forehead soften down. And as you're here, maybe just taking a full body scan, noticing where there are any areas of tension or tightness. And then just beginning to bring awareness towards the breath. Not forcing anything, just simply noticing any natural rhythmic flow. And beginning to shape the breath as you move into that ujjayi breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose as you lightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat. Just finding that audible ocean sounding breath. And we'll just find five more rounds here just to become present and arrive into this space. Throughout this practice, if you'd like, you can think about every inhale as a way to heal and nourish the body. Every exhale as a way to release and let go. On your next inhale, find a little bit more length in the body. And on your exhale, hands walking off to the right. Finding that side body stretch into the left. Option, that left hand can be on top of the right hand. Draw the shoulders in one line, hips back to the heels, soften the head back down. Inhale, walk the hands back through center, find a little bit more length, and exhale, hands coming off to the left. Side body stretch into the right, shoulders in one line, hips back towards the heels. Inhale, walk the hands back through center. Take a moment, exhale here, maybe sigh something out, let something go. Inhale, coming up to all fours, finding that tabletop position. Feeling shoulders over wrists, knees, hip distance apart, spread the fingers wide. And just finding some nice cat cows. On the inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest and the gaze. Exhale, press the floor away, ears between the shoulders as you cap the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then just take a few more rounds on your own. I like to do these really slow in the evening and just work into any areas that need a little extra love. But of course, you can take this as fast as you'd like. Your movement can be as big as you'd like. Finding stillness back in your tabletop. On our exhale, we'll come into puppy on a hatasana. Just begin to walk your hands straight out in front as you melt the chest down. Forehead comes to the floor. If you have a little bit more space in that thoracic spine, the chin might be able to find the floor. If not, not necessary. Another option here is you can bring your knees just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. You might actually find that the chest comes down further and just a nicer release in the low back. I find so much more space when I take that variation, but of course, if it doesn't work for you, no need to take. So we're primarily working into the shoulders here, so bringing awareness there as you breathe.
Next inhale, coming into Sphinx, pressing into the forearms, bringing the hips to the floor, feeling your shoulders directly over your elbows. Now gently press the floor away to lift the crown of the head higher. The chest expands a little bit more. Feeling this from the mid to the low back. Really great for someone who sits in a chair or is traveling all day long. It also just feels good. Exhale, being the lower the forehead to the mat, slide the hands back by the chest. On the inhale, little baby cobra, just take a small back bend. Exhale, lower forehead or chin down. Maybe slide the fingertips back a little bit. Again, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead or chin down. One more time, hands back. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead or chin down. From here, just flipping over onto the back, however you can get there. And then moving into figure four, cross the right ankle above the knee, take a hold of your left hamstring. Try to keep both feet flexed, knees at 90. If this is too intense, you can also keep that left foot on the floor and just let that right knee slowly come out. And just hold and breathe. You should feel this through that outer part of the hip on the right side. Also option to extend that left leg up to the sky, working into that left hamstring, keeping those toes flexed. And gently release, switching sides. Cross that left ankle above the right knee. And take a hold of that right hamstring, making sure to keep the neck, shoulders, and head relaxed. Same with the sacrum, the low back. And again, option to extend that right leg up, working into that right hamstring, keeping those right toes towards the shin as you flex the foot. And then gently release, bring those both legs straight up to the sky. Finding a waterfall, flex the feet, keep that low back grounded. And then an option to move into happy baby. Peace fingers can catch the big toes. Bring the knees to the outside of the body. And keeping that low back rounded, head, neck, shoulders relaxed. Working knees to the outer part of the body. If you want to work into the hips a little bit more, gently draw the knees towards the floor. Also option to gently rock side to side or back and forth, massaging out the kidneys. And then moving into that supine twist, bring the knees into 90 degrees, cactus the arms or bring them to a T. As you exhale, let the legs fall to the left, gaze over your right shoulder. Nice way just to really release the back. And letting go of anything else that's been stored in the body throughout your day. As you inhale, come back through center, and as you exhale, legs to the right, gaze to the left. And inhale to come back through center. Give yourself a little hug, put the hands on the shins, exhale, eyes to knees. Inhale, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. And then slowly come up to a simple seat. And I'll finish our practice with Nadi Shodana. This translates, this is alternate nostril breathing. We use this 
to balance both hemispheres of the brain, to balance the masculine and feminine energy. And it's a great way, again, just to release tension. And so prana can flow more freely throughout the body. So prana, our universal life force energy, cannot flow through tension. So we need to break up those little barriers so prana can flow more freely. And we use the breath as a tool to help us do that. So on the left hand, you'll find chin mudra, index finger to thumb, other three fingers straight, arm and elbow are straight. On the right hand, Vishnu mudra, bringing in that index finger and the middle finger, we'll use the thumb and the ring finger. As you're here, take a moment, just exhale through the mouth. Close the right nostril, inhale left. Close the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. That's one round, we'll continue. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Allow this inhale to be healing and nourishing to your body. Exhale right. Releasing and letting go through the exhale. Inhale right. Exhale left. Do it again. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Last round. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Slowly lower that right hand down. Take a moment just to be still. Bringing awareness to the body. We try to remain still after pranayama so we can fully absorb all of the prana. So we're able to harness that energy and use it for our purpose or our own highest good or whatever we need within that moment. From here, option, you can take a shavasana and just kind of lay down for a few minutes, let everything marinate and come together. Or if you feel like you don't need that right before bed, you can just hop right into bed. I recommend having a cup of tea and reading a good book and just allowing that energy to really keep you grounded, to keep you calm, so you really have a great night's sleep. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Much love. Namaste.